What's up? It's live from Cakewalk Everything. You're watching Re Up TV. Caucasian cop is being freed after doing 11 months on a two year bid for good behavior. First, he detained and then handcuffed, shot the man, turned around, shot the man on the ground, face down. He's getting out after 11 months for good behavior. And we have to stop and warn you first that video obtained exclusively by KTPU shows the actual shooting. This may not be suitable for some viewers. This is video taken from the BART train, recorded on a cell phone by a passenger who doesn't want to be identified. You can see 22-year-old Oscar Grant on his knees talking to police. He is pulled onto the ground face down. Then, after what appears to be a struggle, a BART officer puts his knee to Grant's neck and head, and another officer steps back, draws his gun, and fires at once into Grant's back. His friends, who were just feet away from him, say they watched it all happen. I couldn't believe it. We was, we was already following directions and everything, and they still they shot him. Given what was transpiring, there really wasn't any need to have a firearm out. Attorney John Burris appeared with family and friends yesterday to call for charges against the officer and to announce their intent to file a $25 million wrongful death claim. It is, without a doubt, the most unconscionable shooting I have seen ever. In his own press conference last night, Bart's police chief asked for patience. There are at least two videos of the actual shooting, the one obtained exclusively by KTVU and one confiscated by BART police the morning of the shooting. The chief says he has seen both. I think it's inconclusive. Um, we need to talk to all the officers and especially the primary, the subject officer. The chief did say officers initially felt outnumbered and says reports that Grant was handcuffed after the shooting have not been confirmed but could be true. After a person is shot, um, it, it is part of standard procedure to handcuff the person uh, until you're certain that the threat there's no threat and the person isn't armed. For Grant's family, there were many tears. Tears for his four-year-old daughter. Tears for the man whose death they can still not understand. In these last eight months to a year, I watched my nephew become a better man. I don't know if this was a premonition that he was going to leave us. There is now a memorial at the Fruitvale BART station where this shooting happened. There is also a sign up this morning asking for people to come to a protest that will be at BART headquarters later this morning. In the meantime, this investigation does continue. Remember, there are simultaneously simultaneous investigations going on uh, with BART and with the DA's office, and they are asking witnesses to come forward. Live in Oakland, Claudine Wong, KTVU, Channel 2 News.